Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm sharing my fifth alternate for the February 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit Bouquet of Hope. For this alternative, I've got a scrap of basic white and my flirty flamingo ink pad. And let's bring in a piece of scrap paper and then I've got my uh, bouquet from the Bouquet of Hope stamp set, the February 2021 Paper Pumpkin stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp this right down along the bottom of that scrap piece of paper. And we're going to give it a hold long enough to make sure that ink transfers. Okay, and let's take all of this out of the way and close up my ink pad. And then I want to bring in my paper snips and we're going to cut around this. And as I mentioned, each time when I'm cutting, you want to turn the cardstock and not your scissors. It gives a cleaner line than when you're trying to muscle the scissors around the piece that you are cutting. If you want some additional tips on fussy cutting, you can check out my One Simple Trick video for that. There's a whole series of One Simple Trick videos that I have on my YouTube channel that will help you with your card making. And of course you can see all of my Paper Pumpkin alternates uh, by going to that playlist. So that's the One Simple Trick video playlist and the Paper Pumpkin playlist that you may be interested in. And of course you'll want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin if you have not already. By the 10th of the month, the March kit will have, in addition to the card making supplies, will have a gift of stencils. I can't wait. And you can subscribe by going to my store with the link below and either do a month to month or uh, choose a prepaid and add it to other uh, card making supplies that you'd like to have. So next I have a piece of flirty flamingo and this is a standard four by five and a quarter. And then I've got half of this golden vellum piece from the kit, and we need to adhere that. So to do that, I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet here, and I want some multi-purpose glue, and I'm going to squeeze some onto the sheet. And then I have a sponge dauber that I dedicate to glue, as you can see with my label right here. And I'm just going to glue up the end of my dauber and turn this piece over and I'm going to spread the glue in a thin layer across the back and this will keep the adhesive from showing. get all the way across here. I may need to add some more glue to my craft sheet here. You can find all of these products that I'm using in my Stampin' Up! store. So if you don't have your daubers or craft sheets or even multi-purpose glue, my favorite adhesive, um, you can find them there. Okay, so that's all glued up, and then we're going to bring this layer back in, 
and take this all the way up to one corner and the edge and make sure that I'm on here and then I'm going to start in the center and rub out that way if there are any bubbles we're pushing them out to the edge okay let's move this out of the way the next I've got this piece that I've cut from one of the card bases in the kit and I'm going to add multi-purpose glue to that and it is cut at one and a quarter I'm just adding the glue here on this edge since I didn't come all the way out here and I haven't cut the width yet so we're going to come down to the bottom and make sure I'm here oops so I'm going to pick this up before I give that a final push and make sure that I'm on all of my edges and then again pull out those paper snips and now I'm going to trim this down to size I didn't trim it before because sometimes it can be off by just a hair and with the lighter background behind I didn't want to risk that so next I've got my card base which is pardon me <coughs> thick basic white and it's a standard base at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter and I'm getting just a little ahead of myself let's take that back out of the picture and bring in the fine art ribbon I don't know if you can see the gold sparkle in this there's a gold thread that runs through let me clean up this end where it has frayed and then I'm going to run a piece of tear and tape across the middle here just where it's going to overlap that um, bare space where the vellum piece didn't come down and the card base didn't come up and then let's tear this off and grab my bone folder and give this a quick burnish and I'm going to use my take your pick to loosen the backing sheet pull that right off okay and then I'm going to add some ruffles so let's Okay, and then I'm going to cut this here. This is sort of my cheat because I can't do, I have trouble doing a backwards ruffle. So I'm going to come over to this other side and right at the end. And then because I want my ruffles to go the other direction and this way I can have my ruffles going both directions without having to think too hard about which way to fold that little um, loop that I'm putting in okay and we'll cut this off and come clean up this end here it wasn't nice so I wanted to start again and now it'll be good and straight there on that end okay so now let's add this to our card base bring that back in and grab my dimensionals and as I always say add plenty of dimensionals to the back of your layers you don't want them to sag And then we'll pull all these backing pieces off 
<laughs> okay, let's straighten this up and make sure that our top and two sides are good and the bottom will be fine then. And then I have a piece of basic white that I've cut with one of the stitched shapes dies, the largest oval. If you have not dipped your toe into die cutting yet, these are a must have. They come in circles, ovals, and squares all in the same um, package. And I use them several times every week. They're a, a, a basic must have in my craft room. So let's make sure that we're centered ish on here. Pulling my loops out to the side to make sure that we don't lose any of this detail. Okay, and stick that down. And then we're going to take our piece here that we cut with our paper snips and add dimensionals to that. And I'm going to add one little mini dimensional up here and one right down here on this bow. I know you're looking at that and going, wow, she used a lot of dimensionals, but dimensionals are inexpensive and they pack a lot of wow onto your cards by adding that extra layer. Oops. Okay, and we're just going to bring this right down to the bottom here. And there is our fifth alternate for the February paper pumpkin kit, Bouquet of Hope. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you may want to click the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends. And of course, I'd love it if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with me and you can do that in the link in the description below for my store. Thanks so much for stopping in. Bye. Have a good day.